the human life begin? Is it when the sperm and the egg meet at fertilisation? Or is it when that tiny heart begins to beat for the very first time? Or perhaps it's when the baby takes that first breath at birth. From a reproductive point of view, we know that there are three events that must occur for a life to be considered as viable. The egg must be fertilised, it must implant successfully in the uterine lining, and three, the placenta must be established. And this is the area of my research. The placenta grows from three cells, roughly to about the size of a bread and butter plate, about two centimetres thick. And it's had remarkable evolution over the, a million years, and it's able to actually adapt and respond to each and every pregnant woman's environment. Popular physicist and science presenter Brian Cox believes that the history of life is written into every blade of grass. And I believe this is also true of the human placenta because each cell holds a narrative of our origin as we're forming inside our mother's womb. As part of the placenta project, we've examined over a thousand placenta and it's given us an idea or an understanding of both natural and assisted conceptions and the complications that are con can occur during pregnancy, especially in the area of preeclampsia, preterm birth, miscarriage, and low birth weight. So what do we know about the placenta? We know there's a direct correlation between birth weight and placenta weight. We know that by examining the placenta after birth, we can have a really great idea of what that environment was like that the baby has grown in. And we can also get the timing of any insults that may have occurred during that pregnancy. We can also have an idea of what we call epigenetics, whereas early programming, developmental programming, cannot just affect short-term outcome, but the long-term outcome of that individual. And especially in the area of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, um, mental health disorders. Last year, the NIH funded over $40 million for placenta research. And locally, King Edward Memorial and June Dlup Origin Study have sought our guidance with plac placenta tissue banking. This is not just because the placenta is becoming sexy science. It's because of the predictive power of the placenta. And in the words of Timothy Renault, I would like to say, you show me the placenta and I'll show you the man. Thank you. <laughs>